often see children carrying almost like a little backpack mm -hmm. with them. So what is that backpack that they're carrying? Yeah, it's a, probably most likely an insulin pump. So this okay. is actually a, good, a great graphic of an insulin pump. It's a little, um, it's a little device, and it's attached via uh, the the catheter um, to the skin. And again, it's something that goes. It's a little, little tiny, tiny catheter that's just okay. implanted. It goes right into the skin. So common misconceptions I think about insulin pumps is it's something that it has to be surgically implanted. Right. But it's not. It's actually um, a thing. And that little, you see the little plastic thing there. That's mm -hmm. the insertion device. Um, and that you change every three days. Okay. And so it's nothing that's surgically implanted. You just you can take it in, put it out, it take it uh, take it out, it's very easy to um, to replace. It's not something that has to be surgically implanted. And ironically, Dr. Prasco, and correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of, of the children that I see are very active. They're kids who oh, are in sure. sports. And I think that misconception is if you have a pump, your quality of life is going to suffer, and that's not true. No, actually, I think um, a lot of times patients with pumps actually have an improved quality of life because it really allows you to fine-tune your glucose control on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. You can adjust it uh, based on the time of the day. If you eat, if you don't eat, if you're more active, you can suspend the insulin or decrease the insulin right. um, delivery rather than uh, the injections, which once you do it, you can't adjust it. Right. Between checking your blood glucose levels, taking insulin or medication, and making those lifestyle changes, there's a lot of information for patients to be aware of. So how important is educating the patient? As you said, it could be so overwhelming just to walk into a doctor's office. Yeah, ed education is probably the number one um, thing that we uh, need to do with the patients. I think right. the patients that have the most education and the most information about their diabetes are the most empowered patients and probably the patients that do the best and are able to control their blood sugars the best.